Welcome back to the 30 day series. We have a little chill banger today. My first time sucking di- <laughs> My first time receiving a gluck gluck that sloppy toppy vacuum seal nine stacks. I will not be using the girls names in this video. Yep, girls with an S that's plural. There's multiple in my first time story. You'll understand why this is this is like I said, this might be a top four story in my arsenal I got. But before we get to this first time story and how the whole entire school found out, I first got to just mention this 30 day series has been a hustle. This has been very, very stressful. I'm on day 19 and I'm starting to get behind on videos and it's becoming very hard and stressful. So I, this is kind of an easy banger today. Like I'm trying to do bangers every day, going out with friends and doing certain types of videos. And you just can't do that 30 days straight on no budget. You know what I mean? Okay, this, this series basically has no budget. And so, yeah, we're this is a kind of an easy banger today. Shout out Luna, an OG YouTube storyteller who I used to watch all the time. This is where my inspiration to make these stories from. And I literally, when I first started YouTube, I wrote in this random school book all of like my craziest stories. And so there was a couple to, to pick from, but Ultimately, I chose this one. So this can be a little bit of banger. I'm not going to read off what I wrote because some of this is just crazy. Like the opening line of what I wrote two years ago when I started YouTube is last story. I talked about cracking my head open two times. Well, this story involves my head twice as well, but we're talking about a different one. <laughs> that, that's actually kind of good. That's kind of good. But, all right, let's get to the story, man. This is a story of a little 15 year old Jitty Hubs, as I said in that book, that's exactly how I said it. I don't know what I was thinking writing that. But yeah, 15 year old T Hubs, it's in April, I'm in track, just got my braces off. Almost, I'm about to turn 16 as well, I'm very close to turning 16. And it's a Friday night, I get a call from these two girls that I've been friends with for, for a few years at least, like we were very good friends. Um, we, we've never, done anything before I don't believe I think we're all just chill we're all just good friends and they were hanging out at, at oh I gotta give I gotta give them names we'll name them we'll we'll name them uh Bortney and Jin those will be their names Bortney and Jin they were hanging out at one of their houses and it's about like I want to say a 10 minute drive not even from my house and they call me they're like yo let's hang out I'm like usually I'd probably be like no, like my mom's not driving me. Not none of us can drive yet. I like what? But today I was like, okay, you know what? It's fucking destiny. We're we're hanging out. So my like I said, my mom is not gonna drive me at 11 p.m. None of us have our license. So I tell my mom, yo, mom, I'm getting picked up by my friend right now because a couple of them did did have their license. Not any of us three, but I was like, mom, he's picking me up. We're gonna go hang out. Blah, blah, blah. She's like, she's kind of weirded out. Like, it's already 11 p.m. But she's like, okay, if they pick you up within like five minutes, then sure, I'll let you go. So I had to zoom out the house. I told them I'm coming. They were kind of like, I don't know. They were kind of like surprised, but also they were they were down with it. They, they said I could walk over. They said they'll meet me halfway. Come on, you know that didn't happen. You know that did not happen. But <clears throat> I walked there. As down bad as it sounds, I walked there. Actually, before I left, I'm a well, I don't know why I was doing this at 15. Don't advise no one to be doing this at 15. I grabbed a, a cart, which is basically fake weed, real weed. I don't know what they're just disgusting. They're little carts you smoke like THC out of. And I also grabbed where my parents had alcohol. I grabbed a bottle of alcohol and put it in a Gatorade bottle and in my bag and went. I literally I snuck out of my house too because I didn't even want my mom to like look outside to see if a car was in the driveway or nothing. I was like, I'm just going. So she was not suspicious or anything. She just thought I got picked up. And I'm walking. This shit is creepy as hell at, at 11.30 p.m. One of my friends calls me and I'm like walking kind of near my high school at this point. He calls me like, what the fuck are you doing? And as I'm walking by, a car zooms past gets me running my ass off the, my friends on the phone are like what the hell are you doing these are different friends by the way just, they didn't even know what i was doing they just called randomly and they were like what the fuck are you doing out walking throughout the whole town at night 
I'm walking past my high school janitor and shit. This shit's getting awkward. And I'm like, every time I see a car, I fucking hide in the bushes just in case it's a cop. I, I don't even know if cops would pull you over just for walking. Or you, you, they wouldn't pull you over because you're walking. But like, I don't know if they would stop and ask you what you're doing if you're just walking at night. But I was scared shitless. I had alcohol and shit. I was like, bro, I'm, I'm not dealing with that. So I'm on the phone with them. They're like confused as hell why I'm running. Eventually, I slow down. I chill out. I tell them what's going on. And they bet me against my, they bet my slippers against me that I would not have any action with these girls. And to be honest, I don't even know if I was thinking about that at this point. Maybe I, I, maybe I was because I was 15. So I probably was at least a little bit, but I wasn't really, that wasn't even my intention. I just wanted to hang out. And they bet me my slippers I wouldn't get any action. And I was, I was heated. You do not bet my slippers against me, bro. My slippers were my damn near my prized possessions at this time. So they bet my slippers against me. They did not believe I was going to be able to do anything with these girls. Even one of them. I was like, fuck off. Bet accepted. I guarantee something will happen. No doubt in my mind. So, okay. Moving on. I'm getting close to their neighborhood. Yeah, this was about almost an hour of walking. And they finally come out once I get to their neighborhood. Instead of meeting me half, at least they met me somewhere. They met me basically in their backyard. At least they didn't make me go all the way to their house. But yeah, we get through, we had to sneak in a little bit through the garage, through the house. Parents asleep, siblings asleep, can't, you know, can't risk the alarm. So we get in a room, just chilling. Everybody, I don't know if we even like smoked or anything, thank God. But we just drank a little bit, which is also bad. Don't advise it. Stupid. Why would you do that? Don't know. Don't ask me. But yeah, that's what we were doing at 15, 16. It's embarrassing, but whatever. Drinking a little bit. No one got like obliterated. No one. I think we were all like decently tipsy, like probably at the same level, kind of like no one was really that bad. Um, but we were definitely drunk a little bit. We were just chilling. They asked, what, what should we do now after like chilling for like probably an hour or something? And I was just straightforward with it. I was like, yo, let's let's go. Let's see what happens. And they honestly, they were for it. They were for it. They they weren't like weirded out or nothing. They were they were down. And so eventually, I actually wrote this in my book. This is crazy cringe. <laughs> I gotta just mention what I said. Oh my god. <clears throat> so time went on and me and Jin were chilling on her bed. The drunkenness was going away, but the tipsiness was strong. <laughs> what does that even fucking mean? I don't know what the fuck I was saying back then. But yeah, we were chilling in our bed. Friction was going down. Hands were moving, blah, blah, blah. I'm over here just looking at the fucking ceiling, just like, ah, uh, ah. Uh, just fucking, not even drunk, just fucking probably nervous, honestly. Just not even understanding what's probably about to happen with all these hands flying all over the place. And next thing you know, I look down and I can't see my dick. <laughs> I, I can't see it, bro, cause it's, it is a, um, I can't see it, bro. It, it, it is under fire. It is now being vacuum sealed. And this is from one of the girls. And the other girl was just like, I don't know, she was just chilling at this point. I don't even, she wasn't even there yet or something. Or she was there, but like, she wasn't there. If you know what I mean, it's happening. I'm nervous, but like, once I notice what the fuck is really fucking happening, once my brain kind of like sobers up for a second, I'm like, oh, okay, dokie, okay, dokie. Okay, bro, what am I doing, bro? Oh my God. Hopefully they don't get mad at me for telling this story. I didn't use their names to be fair, but I mean, if you're mad, fuck, get mad then, I guess, sorry. But yeah, things were happening, all that type of stuff. And a little tug blow action, you know, never can go wrong. I'm actually, I'm not gonna get into details of what they, like all that. It was all our first times. No one cares about the details and all that type of stuff, but it was cool. It was cool. And then eventually I was lasting a while too. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I was pretty nervous. And also maybe the alcohol too, but I, like I said, I kind of sobered up. So I think I was just nervous at this point and things were going on. And the other girl who was just like chilling on the floor, well, I was like, okay, get her attention. I think I like tossed my phone at her or some shit. <laughs> I Sigma commanded her to come over. No, I'm kidding. But I did like toss something at her. I was like, yo, and she just looked over like <laughs> with my just fucking dick out. It's just crazy. <laughs> And I was like, uh, 
And then Shiu came over, Jin took a break, and now Bortney, it was Bortney's turn. And then she was going, you know, and then there was more vacuum seal action. Then things escalated and we were fucking tired. I was, I was, honestly, I didn't even think I understood how kind of crazy it was until the next day. I, oh, first of all, we went to bed. We just like chilled, everyone chilled in the bed, went to bed. And then I had to wake up mad early to leave before her parents woke up. And I got the fuck out of there. I was walking again, this time a different path. This time I was walking to my friend's house who lived near her, like a 20 minute walk. One of my friends, Brooke, saw me on the side of the road just walking at 7 a.m. this morning with like her mom or something. And I was like, what the fuck are you doing? But I was just, I was just walking. Obviously I couldn't get picked up from her house. So I went to my friend's house who was definitely asleep. Didn't even go to his house. I just chilled like near his house. And I called my mom, I was like, yo, can you pick me up from my friend's house? It was 7 a.m. She was pissed. She was like, what the hell? Like, why can't why can't you just stay for a little bit longer? Like, why is it so early? And I was I just made up some shit that he's gotta leave. And so yeah, she picked me up. Not she was not in a great mood about that, which is understandable. But I had to I had to finesse the situation. And then I don't know if it was that very same day, but at night, or if it was the next day, maybe like a Sunday or something, but Jin was having a party. Or like a kind of like a, it wasn't like a crazy party, but there was probably like 30 people there. And I get there before I even walk in the door. One of my friends comes, comes to me before I even get in. He's like, yo, everyone knows, bro. Like what? You got to tell me the story, bro. Blah, blah, blah. And before we went to bed that night, we were just talking saying, yo, like each of us just tell one person. That's we're going to keep this kind of low key. We're going to keep this a secret. And I got there and everyone knew. And I, I had other friends coming out being like, that didn't know yet, but knew something was going on. They're like, bro, you gotta tell us what, like, what happened. Like all their friends know like what, what is going on. And I'm like, they're what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I thought this was gonna be a low key thing. Cause also I didn't understand the monumentalness of it. So I tell them it's pretty hype and I'm starting to get it like, oh, like I kind of did like a kind of a cool thing. Like not many people can say I had the combo wombo for their first time. Some people never even in their lives, but for their first time combo wombo. Okay. That was kind of cool, but I still like, I didn't want all the attention for that. Like I was, I didn't care. I don't know why I didn't care. I think most high schoolers have been like, yeah, I'm telling everyone, but I just wasn't like that, which is funny because everyone knew. By the next day, Monday, I go to school. Everyone fucking knows. At this party, there's like 30 people. So all of them knowing, okay, that that's crazy. But the whole school knowing, oh my God. It, the whole entire first two days, Monday and Tuesday. First day was like, everyone asked me questions like, yo, is this real? What, what happened? Blah, blah, blah. Who was it? Who was it? I was low-key trolling. That was my only enjoyment out of it was I was trolling them, saying random names and like doing this and that. But obviously it was true. I wasn't getting out of it. Tuesday, and then by Tuesday, everyone knew the truth. Like, even if I trolled them, they'd come in the next day. Bro, like, okay, I know what happened for real this time. And so everyone knew. And then I'd say probably a month later, there's this one kid I don't even really know. I've seen him before, but I don't know him. I was at track practice. We were walking the track with one of my friends and see this dude coming towards us. And the dude I was with was friends with them. So they were talking. I was just like on the side waiting for my friend to keep walking. And then the dude that I don't know turns to me and he's like, aren't you the guy that got head from two girls? I'm like, bro, ain't no way. He doesn't even know my fucking name. He doesn't even know my name. He just, that's all he knows me by. So that's how that shit was for like a while. And yeah, I didn't want the attention, but I got it. And yeah. That's that's how it was. It was it was a cool experience. Like I said, I'm not gonna go into detail of like the fucking. Uh, uh. I can't believe I just did that. It was a cool experience. It, it, oh god, I don't even know what to say now. Fuck. Well, I, I do know what to say actually. Tomorrow's video and you have a date. Don't be late. 8 p.m. Tomorrow's video is coming out. Boom. <laughs> Anime, yeah. I, 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 I,
Look, look.